and I discovered Kutumas al Fashil Giddan. You know, I was the worst because in university I didn't take it seriously because Giddi Haizabatni is a huge actor. So why would I need to be good? أول كلاينت اشتغلت معاه كانت اداني ابروكسيمتلي 8000 جنيه فده كان بالنسبه لي طبعا مبلغ طب الترابيك كان كام بقى؟ خمسه خمسه 5000 جنيه والله ده بتيجي 8000 جنيه في الشهر عشان تعملي يعني نفس اللي انت كنت بتعمليه بالظبط في الشركه اقل كمان كان معاكي فلوس عشان تبداي البيزنس ده؟ خالص انا ما ابتديتش بفلوس خالص وكل حاجه كنت بعملها اي واز جاست اوفرينج ا سيرفيس اشتغلي في شركه والمديره كانت راكبه وايه اللي حصل بعد كده؟ اوكي سو انا كنت ات واز ماي دريم جوب كنت اكتر كنت هموت واروح الشركه دي وبعد كده اشتغلت هناك وقعدت تقريبا خمس شهور والخمس شهور دي كنت حاسه ان انا فاشله وكانت مديرتي على طول شايفه ان نوثينج از انف مفيش حاجه ماشيه خالص فاي كويت وي اي ستارتد فري لانسنج في الاول كنت بشتغل بقى في كل الاماكن اللي انا عايزاها كنت بشتغل الصبح اشتغل بالليل كنت بروح الساحل قعدت قعدت ثلاث شهور في الساحل بشتغل من هناك ات واز فيري نايس دوس على طول على ان انت تشتري كورس دلوقتي او باي ناو كورس دلوقتي عشان تبدا على طول تجيب كلاينتس يدفعوا لك من ساره بتبيع الباكجز بتاعتها ب 7000 جنيه كبداية انت ممكن تسعر الباكجز بتاعتك براحتك مين عايز يبدا بودكاست مين بيفكر يبدا بودكاست ارفع ايدك ما تتكسفيش هفضحك دلوقتي عادي <تصفيق> مين تاني مين تاني هنا عايز يبدا بودكاست او بيفكر ان هو بيبدا بودكاست او مثلا جت الفكره في دماغه ان هو عايز يبدا بودكاست بس مش عارف ليه لازم يبدا بودكاست <تصفيق> اصلا <تصفيق> انت عايز تبدا بودكاست طيب ماشي طيب انتوا فاكرين ايه اهم ايه اهم اكويبمنت انتوا محتاجينها عشان تبداوا بودكاست يعني في اكيد مايك في حاجات مهمه جدا انتوا محتاجينها عشان الواحد يبدا بودكاست وانا متاكد اسمك ايه ورا اللي بتضحكي اه فيروز انت عايزه تبداي بودكاست صح صاحبتك رفعت ايه شكلك مش متاكده بس صاحبتك متاكده لك ماشي انت ما بداتيش دلوقتي عشان بروبابلي بتدوري على ايه احسن مايك للبودكاست صح اه او ايه الحاجه طيب مين مين مش بيبدا عشان مستني ان هو يختار احسن مايك او احسن كمبيوتر عشان يعمل البودكاست مش الكونتنت اوكي بيرفكت طيب المايكس الاكويبمنت جايز نوت امبورتنت ماشي مره لايك اي ونت كنت راح اعمل بودكاست uh, كنت في فلور, كنت في اورلاندو انا عايش في اورلاندو وكنت راح ميامي وجبت الاكويبمنت اشتريت اكويبمنت براند نيو لايك 2000 دولارز ووسف اكويبمنت عشان اروح بعد كده وصلت ميامي لايك اي فورجوت اول ماي اكويبمنت everything i forgot all the cables so i didn't use anything for the end i just used my phone to film and my laptop to record the sound can podcast جامد جدا 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 فاول حاجه عايز اقولها للناس كلها اللي عايزه تبدا بودكاست عايزه تبدا حاجه you don't need any equipment تمام عايز اعرف انتوا ليه تفتكروا البودكاست حاجه مهمه او ليه تبقوا على السوشيالز حاجه مهمه ان انتوا تبدا like podcast is personal branding انا عارف ان كان في حد جه هنا اتكلم عن personal brand so why do you think building your personal brand is important يعني a lot of you guys work in marketing or study marketing and so on. أي حد يرفع إيده يتكلم. By the way, guys, this is more of a conversation. ف ف like talk to me. <laughs> I'm not gonna go if you guys don't talk to me. فأنا حستنيك وعادي. Yes. <laughs> yeah, connections. But why is it important, guys? Why is it important for you guys to build your personal brand? Yes. 100%. What else? Why aren't you guys building your podcast from now? 100%. Anybody else? You can have your own voice. Your own voice. That's awesome. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yusuf Sudan can be Actually, the first podcast that I did in my life was with Yusuf Sudan. Actually. And this is why, yeah, Yusuf Sudan is the best. Like, I love him. He, he had to go to work, I guess. But, uh, but Yusuf Sudan is amazing. I really, really love what he's doing. And he's at the university now, and he already made more connections than you would have made after you graduated, like, in five years. He already has all these connections right now. Like, we talk all the time. If he needs anything, I'm there. I help him. He helps me. Like, I went to the podcast, and a lot of people would think, like, for example, like, like Yusuf Sudan, he goes to the and so on. Maybe he doesn't have, like, business experience or he doesn't have much haga like that's like crazy but he offers something that's amazing he offers something for me to go and express myself and to create content out of nothing but this is something huge for me as an entrepreneur as someone that 
از اون سوشيال ميديا بس ان هو بيديني الاوبرتونيتي ان انا اروح اتكلم اند اكسبرس ماي سيلف اند يوز ات از كونتنت ذس از ريلي ريلي امبورتنت فور مي ف هي هي اوفرز سمثينج ريلي بيج ويتش از ميكينج مي اكسبرس ماي سيلف اند كرييتينج ات فور كونتنت تمام اند ناو اف يو جايز ونت ميك موني بروبابلي يو جايز ونت فينيش يونيفرسيتي وهتبتدوا تعملوا فلوس رايت دو اني اوف يو اكشلي نو ماي ستوري هاو اي ستارتد او اي حاجه لا All right, awesome. So the YouTube video would have helped with that, that I could play. Um, but so I can play a little piece of it right now. I say, I say really fast on how I started. It's working? And there's audio? Hey, 20.5, let's go. <laughs> By the way, guys, something really cool you guys have to know, that actually I have another channel called Yusuf Sabri, but it's like I started it for fitness. And I have 100, 100, 000, almost 100,000 subscribers. And it has a lot of things, but I still started to start my podcast uh, channel from scratch and my Instagram for the podcast from scratch because it's a completely different audience. So we'll talk about like, understanding your audience, being more niche. And this was a huge risk. Like, Babda Haga, Mr. channel, when I already channel for almost 100,000 subscribers that I've built and that I spent a lot of money on. I'm like, can I swear? I don't know if I can swear here. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. Yeah, yeah, because I'm not even into fitness. I, I like to train, but I don't know shit about fitness. Yeah. But I was just building my personal brand. I didn't know what I was doing yet. So I'll talk about this. I'll talk about how this came. I was just proving that I could build personal brands because I built it for other people. So then I'm like, yo, can I do it for myself? And I fucking did it, easy. <laughs> so this is just an introduction of uh, my companies, what we do and everything, so you guys could get to know. ازاي تقدر تجيب كلاينتس يدفعوا لك من 5000 جنيه ل 20000 جنيه تعمل لهم شوبيفاي ويب سايت او ازاي ان انت تتعلم تعمل ده عشان تشتغل في شركه محتاجه ان انت تمسك لهم شوبيفاي الناس فعلا محتاجه الموضوع ده وناقص في السوق وفي جاب كبير جدا الماركت كبير قوي ففي شغل ليا وليك لاي حد شاطر اي حد هيحط وقت وهيتعلم وهيبقى عايز يعمل حاجه هيوصل ممكن يجيب لك شغلانه بكذا طريقه مختلفه وممكن تبقى فريلانسر على اب وورك على حاجات زي كده زي ما احنا ممكن نشوف الواحد بيدفع له من 35 دولار في ساعه لفوق ال 100 دولار و200 دولار في ساعه معايا علي وعمر عندهم شركه اسمها فلاك بول بيعملوا اي كوميرس ستورز بالشوبيفاي هيشرحوا لنا ازاي هم بدأوا شركتهم من ولا حاجه من لا شيء يقدروا يشتغلوا من اي حته هم عايزينها في العالم فلو انت عايز تشتغل كشوبيفاي ديفلوبر سواء كفري لانسر او تعمل بروفايل على اب وورك وتبقى قاعد بتشتغل الكلاينتس بتوعك على البحر دوس على اللينك اللي تحت عشان تبتدي معانا الكورس دلوقتي بليونز اوف سوشيال ميديا امبريشنز اشتغلنا مع ناس عملنا لهم بليونز اوف سوشيال ميديا امبريشنز ماشي عملنا اوفر 100 مليون دولار ان سيلز يعني عملنا سيلز بفوق ال 100 مليون دولار ماشي عملنا جوناثان كيندل قال لوحده عرف يقدر يلم فوق ال 100 مليون دولار للستار ابس مختلفه في اخر 2020 ايه القرف ده؟ جوناثان جايز از ماي بارتنر هيز هيز فروم ذا يو اس هيز ا مونستر هي هاز انذر كومباني كولد ديل ريز ذات وي هاف اكويتي ان And we, we do all their like uh, qualifying and everything. They've raised over $150 million actually. Just in the last month, uh, six month of 2020, he raised over $111 million in like seven months. As of six short, he actually raised over $120 million. I did. He raised over $120 million. The one copy of it with the team. Okay? مين هنا يعرف اليوسف صبري مايند سايت بودكاست؟ مين هنا يعرف اليوسف صبري مايند سايت بودكاست؟ خلاص يا جو في 6 مليون واحد بيشوف الحاجه بتاعتنا من كل حاجات السوشيال ميديا اكشلي جايز لايك جاست فروم ذا بودكاست فروم ذاتس انف سو يو جايز نو بت بت ذن هير اي وونت اي وونت شو يو جايز جرب شوكو ساندويتش شوكو ديلايت وشوكو كوتد اوريو اول رايت سو سو جاست سو يو جايز نو سو اي بيلت ا كومباني اي ستارتد فروم نوثينج ذس از I like feeling like a rapper, but some shit <laughs> So basically how I started, guys, I was lost. I didn't know, I graduated from theater actually. For a lot of you guys are artists, I graduated from theater and I thought I wanted to be an actor. All right? I was trying to get my job and I was trying to get my job and I was trying to get my job and I was trying to get my job. 
عشان ابويا في ناس كتير قوي هنا ممكن في الاي يو سي باباها ومامتهم عندهم بزنسز وكده وانتم متخيلين ان الحياه حلوه جدا هتخلصوا جامعه هتروحوا تشتغلوا معاهم والحياه تبقى زي الفل اللي انتم مش فاهمينه ان انتم هتخلصوا جامعه هتبداوا تشتغلوا معاها هتكرهوا حياتكم اوكي بيكوز اتس سمثينج اتس نوت يور باشن اند اند يو ثينك لايف رايت ناو از اباوت لايك موني يو ثينك لايف رايت ناو از جست اباوت جست جيتنج موني جيتنج ان ابارتمنت بيكوز ذس از وات سوسايتي از تيلينج يو يو نو بس وين يو فينيش اند يو جراديويت اند يو جيت انتو لايف يو لايك شيت Life is not actually about just getting money and, and, and having a nice apartment and, and a nice car and a nice Gucci bag, you know? It's actually like when you get these things and then what? Nothing happens. You have to live for a purpose. You have to live for something, you know? But when I finished, I was 26, 27, and I discovered you know, I was the worst because in university, I didn't take it seriously because he's a huge actor. But why would I need to be good? Right? كل الناس اي حد اصلا ما عنديش وسطه ده بولشيت. There's nothing called wasta. فيش حاجه اسمها وسطه. Doesn't exist. What exists is results and what you could do and actually provide for people. A lot of people anyway, I'll talk about this after too. ف ف ف at like 26 27, I see my older sister, she has two cars, she has a nice house, she's married. I'm like, fuck, she made it. I'm still a loser. I'm working as a waiter, trying to become an actor. I learned how to be a waiter so I could go to LA, be a waiter in LA. And then like do auditions and become like Brad Pitt. Of course, I was horrible at this because I never actually practiced my art. I had a talent, but I never practiced it. So I wasn't good at it. And then social media came and, and my sister Sara Sabri, she's actually here in this university, started her social media. But thank you. I want to you guys are here today. You guys are here today. Like guys, good job that you guys are here today. Like on your time off, like you guys could be chilling, like doing whatever the fuck you guys do on now, but you guys are here, so this is already awesome. Awesome, for a good job for you guys. So when social media started, I saw a trend. I saw that people in the States are making crazy money. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and all of these people are making crazy money from Instagram. And Sara was already big on Vine. She was killing it on Vine. And then Instagram started when she actually came to the AUC. And, and, and her Instagram blew up, you know? And I'm like, shit, okay, I need to be on this too because I need to make money from it, all right? But I didn't want to make money like, like other influencers. I didn't want to make money for people to post an ad, like shampoo da tohfa, ishtiri. Like, this is not what I wanted to do because I always, I understand that like any business, what does any business need to make money? Marketing, Marketing traffic, yes, exactly. They need traffic, right? If you have a product, you need traffic to sell it. Right? So I understood. And now we need to understand, like a company like Nike, how much you think the revenue per year is? So the revenue is 7 billion, all right, in 2020 or 2021. And how much you think from the 7 billion dollars is for marketing? Four. Yeah, 3.9, exactly. 3.9 billion dollars on marketing. Spending on like athletes, on actors, on all of this, you know? That's crazy, right? Four billion dollars in marketing. We don't have four billion dollars <laughs> to create traffic to start a business, especially the people that are starting from nothing, that have no money to start from nothing. And at that point, like I knew that my family, my family just they have a business in Egypt, decor haget. I'm like, guys, just do a website and a Facebook page. Like, ah, ah. So I'm like, okay, they're never gonna help me build my social media, you know? And I begged them, I'm like, guys, invest in me and Sara. We're gonna blow up, we're gonna be superstar. Taban did not understand. Like, if they did this six years ago and invested in us, we'd have probably been like superstars. So I'm like, shit, I need to take the matter in my own hands. So I'm like, I decided to build my personal brand to create traffic and to build it. So at this time, I was working as a waiter, I was working as a security guard. Taban in Canada is a lot different, you know? And so on. How will take a my boy and everything? It was really, really hard. Ashen, it was very hard because I didn't understand how to grow my dad's business. Because I would tell my dad and I would tell my family, I'm like, you guys need to invest in marketing. You need to invest in, 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 in a website. And they're like, no, 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 no. And I didn't understand until now, actually. I'm like, why? Because they're already super tight. They're already super tight on their cash flow and they used all their cash flow to buy more product and to scale like they're scaling, right? So if I actually wanted to help them, I should have found a way that I can learn how to create a website. I can learn how to do organic marketing. I can learn how to do B2B marketing, you know? Without telling them to, yo, give me $20,000 for me to go, they're like, like for them, $20,000, their cash flow, they needed to buy more product to grow, 
For a lot of you guys would have parents that have businesses دلوقتي. Do you want to have the freedom to work from anywhere in the world? Are you dreaming of getting back all that time you spend in traffic? Do you want to be able to work on your passion and be financially independent? Do you want to stop spending on transportation and food at work and actually save up? This can all happen now. As a virtual worker now employee, you get to work from the comfort of your own home or anywhere really. You get to make money and save up on all the expenses of working from an office. Are you a talented graphic designer? We want you to work with us. Did you know you could be an architect and work remotely? Do you think you have what it takes to work as a virtual assistant or a customer service specialist? Do you want to make a career as a copywriter? Are you a video editor, a social media manager? It's time that you live the life you want. We have your back. Just like an in-house employee, we guarantee that you will get all your legal and financial rights. Work with an international team in an environment that's all about lifelong learning. Our company is growing fast and we want you to be a part of it. Apply now. So a lot of you guys would have parents دلوقتي وهتروحوا تكلموهم وهتقول لهم انت لازم تعمل كده وكده وكده ومش هيسمع لك وانت هتفتكر ان هو فاكرك عبيط او مش عايز يسمع لك. But they actually think guys is they don't have that cash flow to actually take a risk with we يعمل هو بيقوله لك first of all you don't have enough experience to actually take their money and burn it because you're going to burn it because there's a lot of things you're going to need to know because it's not about throwing money at something and it's happened and it happens you know you need to build it from scratch you need to understand it from scratch you need to understand everything if you think you're going to have a business and you're going to hire people for social media you're going to hire a graphic designer you're going to hire a video editor you're going to hire a head of social media اعمل social media مش هتروح في اي حته it's not going to happen all right Coming back, so and then I started social media. I started how to create content. I was creating funny videos. All right, funny videos. I wasn't funny, and I knew I wasn't funny. Like I wasn't funny at all, you know. But I enjoyed the process, and I was building something. Some people were still liking me, marafshile, but they were liking me. So I was creating traffic. So it was cool. And then I wanted to start YouTube because I saw Logan Paul calling it on YouTube, and they were gonna, and YouTube was blowing up. So I'm like, all right, I need to, I need to start YouTube, but I'm not gonna have anything to do. You know, I'm not gonna vlog. Hey, come on, I'm going to the restaurant. I'm working now. It's gonna be crazy. People are gonna eat their food. So, so I had nothing really to offer, and I didn't have any confidence to really feel that I could offer something that people could like get value out of it. You know, so I didn't. So I helped one of my friends build his channel in fitness because there was a huge gap in fitness. So something really important here, guys. So I saw a really, really big problem in the fitness industry like four years ago. That كل الناس بتهبد أي حاجة. البروتين ده أو أعتقدو. You know, كابتن أنا خدت بروتين أنا. It's like no, bro. Like protein, عادي. Like take protein. You know. So I told my friend like, bro, there's a huge gap in the market. الناس مش فاهمة يعني إيه. You know. And you need, and like, you could kill it on YouTube. He was already big on Facebook. But we started the YouTube channel together, and we killed it. Like, within six months, it's like the biggest fitness channel in the Middle East. It made me a really big name, and I understood how to build um, another person in Blan, and like, it gave me like, confidence that I could do this, you know? And then, I got fired from the restaurant. <laughs> By the way, by the way, guys, I was horrible at university, okay? So everybody that's like bad at university, <laughs> yeah, and that's the fashion that gives you the result quite at university and everything. University is a small, tiny step, uh, a small, tiny step in your life. And I love that they're starting to bring people that, like, are into business, people that like, are were had great, amazing grades like me in university. I never wrote an essay in my life, guys. I paid people to do it. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you know. But so this is where I started learning how to delegate. <laughs> it was in university. <laughs> you know? I was like, but this is for me, because I was different, guys. I was like, I don't want to learn anything that I don't need it. Because I see my dad working. I see I was making a lot of money in university. Like I had clients, personal training them. I didn't know shit about training, but I still had clients. I was selling, uh, selling and buying cars and bikes and shit. So I had something else. So anything that's useless for me, I hated to learn it. But this is something really important. A lot of people, they feel less about themselves because they feel other people know a lot more than them about something. But you don't need like all this random knowledge. You only need like hyper-specific knowledge that you need. And anything that you actually want to understand, like people say like, oh, you need 10,000 hours. 
Do you know how many hours you actually need to be like in the top 5% in a specific skill? All this has nothing to do with podcast yet. That's coming. Eh, the Amirna. How many hours? 20 hours. Bravo, Alik. Ash. We have all the positive hours here. It's not possible. I'm going to sleep today. Ash. I love it, though. I love the energy, guys. So, exactly, 20 hours. Like, you only need 20 hours. I forgot why I was saying that. But you only need 20 hours. <laughs> all right? So anyway, so after I built my friend's channel, 20 hours per, per skill. So let's say you want to understand graphic designing. If you put 20 hours in graphic designing, you're in the top 5% of the world in graphic design. Yeah. You know, if you want to learn about podcasts, like go YouTube what, how to do podcasts for 20 hours, and you'll be already like 95% better than the whole university. Okay? So it's that easy. Like already now, it's an hour. Fadal Satoshi Seah. Okay, <laughs> Okay, and I'm sure you guys do things in your hours. <laughs> How much hours are wasted on amazing things? All right. So yeah. So then, I got contacted. I was broke. I went to. I was broke. I decided, fuck it. I'm never gonna work for someone ever again after I got fired from this restaurant, because something else, guys, that is gonna happen. Like it was very scary for me to quit. I was supposed to quit to go pursue what I wanted to do. You know. But I wasn't able to do because it's scary, it's risky. Like sometimes you want to do something, it's very scary even though you're a lot better. But I was feeling that I had so much more to give to the world than like waiting tables. I, I had it, it was burning inside of me. You know, so when I got fired, actually it was the best day of my life. Like I'm going to go back to this, like <laughs> I can't wait to go back and uh, say thank you to them. But they already know what's up, so it's okay. But it's good. Like sometimes bad things happen in your life, guys. It's actually something that's going to push you to be better and to do something better. So if anything happens in your life, maybe this is good for you. So you could wake the fuck up. Okay? So that's it. And then someone contacted me in Dubai. Like, hey, can you come build my channel? So I said, bro, I'm not a videographer. I'm learning how to video edit. I just learned how to video edit. And I borrowed $700 from one of my friends to buy a G7X, small camera. He's like, perfect, this is what I want. I want there uh, to, to Dubai, and I want something to call mastermind. Do you guys know what a mastermind is? No? It's not that, it's not that avian. It's, it's, it's more into like entrepreneurial level. So masterminds, guys, is to do it for different things. There's masterminds, and there's different levels of masterminds. It's usually for entrepreneurs. So there's like different tickets. There's tickets for like $200. There's tickets for $5,000. There's $20,000 mastermind. My partner teaches in masterminds that are $100,000 for three days, but usually the people that come to these masterminds for like $100,000 are people that are making like 50 million, 100 million. Nobody gives a fuck about that at that level. You know, they care about is like the expertise as you have and how like authentic you are. That's what they care about. You know, and they were super impressed. From Inhena, I'm like, oh shit, I need to start. I can't be with all of them. I don't want to travel with all of them. I don't care about having a salary. I never wanted to work for a salary. So this is something else. Watch out. If you want to be an entrepreneur, if you're thinking about being an entrepreneur, I'm coming to podcast, Marina, <laughs> Ehdi. If you want to be an entrepreneur, like, don't get used to comfort. Don't get used to a salary coming every month. You know, you need to take a risk. It's good to have a salary so you can have something coming in, but you understand that you're putting it, you're like just making sure that you have your shoes, your clothes, a roof, your food. That's it. Everything else is into your business. And if you're relying on your family, that they're going to take you out on every single thing and they're taking money, you know, and they're paying for your university and all of this, like you guys are putting yourself in such a comfort zone, you're killing yourself by yourselves. You know, even if they have businesses, even and so on, make sure that you never stay super comfortable because it's going to destroy you. And it's not going to let you start your podcast. All right? <laughs> so now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, from there, from uh, finding these entrepreneurs wanting to build their personal brand, I started offering a video editing service for a flat fee. You know, I hired one video editor. And then now today, we have 15 different departments, over 400 employees. And, you know, like, uh, uh, like our company is evaluated at uh, like eight figures. So it's pretty decent from nothing, from just using social media. You know, then with my personal brand, I started hiring people with my personal brand. So I didn't have walls off, I didn't have, and didn't have an office or anything. I was just make a story. Hey guys, I need a video editor. Mina, I just It's like, oh, Yusuf, I know. It's like, and like, 
it started like this. You know, it's like, hey guys, I need a graphic designer. Oh yeah, Yusuf, <laughs> I'm a graphic designer. Hey guys, I need an architect. So I had an architecture department. We're working on a $69 million built in Florida with 10 architects. They fired their whole teams in Canada and they're working like super, like super random. I would never thought I would have a, like an architecture department. You know, copywriting and so on. Podcast. <laughs> so there's, so for podcast and personal branding, it's, it's like personal branding is everything. It's marketing. Like this right now is marketing. What I'm doing right now, this is marketing. Podcast is marketing. But most people don't think it's important because they don't see the value. They don't see if they do a podcast, they're going to have, they're going to get paid like tomorrow. You know, they don't know if they come to a university, like I'm not paid today, you know, but the value of this for me is crazy. And I'll be, I'll start getting paid soon, you know, when I like, when I want to. But this, the content that I'm getting out of there is way more powerful than any amount of money that I could make. First of all, I'm building a crazy connection with you guys. I'm understanding you guys. I'm coming to a university. It's giving me status on my personal brand. And I feel, you see, I made it. <laughs> you know? But this is really important. A lot of you don't think it's important to start it or you don't think it's a priority to start it because you don't see the money coming in like today, tomorrow. You know? But you don't understand that someone like Nike is paying $4 billion and paying influencers like an absurd amount of money to post like, like, uh, uh, huh? No, like, bro, like, uh, uh, Nike would pay, like, would pay me $5,000 to just post a picture like this. USD. But the thing is, what, and this is a big problem with influencers, you know? A lot of influencers think that they're actually worth $5,000 per post to do this. You know, but it's not real, it's Fugazi, <laughs> it's bullshit. Because the ROI is not there. Like if I post a picture, if I give an influencer, if I made a shoe and I give it to an influencer and I post and he does this with it and I pay him $5,000, the ROI on this is not, is not even, is not, I won't even make back the $5,000. Like he's not that powerful with 200K following or 250K following to bring me back that $5,000 investment. So Nike has money to burn. They have $4 billion to burn. So they're paying influencer whatever they want. But influencers are thinking like their platform is actually worth this. But it's not. It's just companies that have stupid amount of money that they need to burn. They don't care. They have a budget. Like we're burning $4 billion. Guys, what do we do? <laughs> you know? So, so this is something really important. So back to this. It's about building trust. You know? Nike is building trust all this time. It's burning all this money for you to trust them. It's burning money on, 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 on athletes, on celebrities, and so on, so they could build trust so you could trust them, right? So when we start our businesses, and the most important thing in business is trust. $20,000 project, just a small kitchen or a small room, to a $69 million project, like two and a half years later. فحد زي كده وخلاص, we're like, we're like I, it's like there's too much trust in what we built is like insane. We know my core values, he knows my core values, he knows my ethics, we trust each other. So this is like why would I not partner with him? There's two options, there's three options for this guy. Or he's going to leave me for a higher salary and a more prestigious uh, company. Or he's going to try to go do his own thing, you know. Or he can partner up with me and we could have something together. So again, the most important thing in business, in my opinion, this is not, is, is having trust with someone. So building that trust takes a lot of time, guys. This is why you guys need to start today. This is why, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a better flow. It's a better flow. But it's just such a good content, you know? <laughs> but this is why, this is how long mama gasabuni akal in English for AUC. Hassan Ahmed? Habibi. So this is why it's really important for you to start building trust from now with your audience, with people, and so on. So anybody here that wants to build a podcast, all right? So what is the, what is the problem? Problem, we were thinking about what I was thinking about when I was thinking about what I was thinking about, 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 what I was thinking about. Okay. Okay. All right, awesome. طيب وايه اللي انت طلعت بيه؟ 
لسه لسه ما خلصناش Hello and welcome to the copywriting course for virtual courses now. Hey, my name is Jonathan Kendall. I've had over $50 million dollars in direct sales from copy that I've written. Why we buy anything? Why things go viral? What are the influencers that make us do anything in our lives? The answers are at the core of all of copyright. So the cool thing about it is that not only I'm going to teach you how to think about this, but I'm going to give you the exact templates. that I use to skip steps, speed up the process, and make it so that compared to other copywriters, you shine above the rest. Connecting problems that people have with solutions that companies have. What if you wrote websites? What if you wrote emails? What if you wrote ads? Piece of advice about life. Every single step of the way, more and more people are going to drop off. So you got to ask yourself, am I the one that's going to drop off or am I going to stick through the end? In general, there are a few rules that you have to follow in order to write well. If you just watch the how to write a landing page, which is basically a fancy word for website, oh man. You can charge a lot. We're going to talk about how to get a job. This is what they don't teach you at university for whatever reason. Today, Virtual Worker Now has clients in North America that pay for all of these. In this course, we are going to learn all of them. Amal Trade Service. The Nessa de Rodo, thank you. The Nessa de Rodo. مش ثانك يو لسه لسه nothing يعني yet طيب what is the purpose of this why do you want to start this why why is this association alive like why find your why a really important book guys to read is find your why all right you have to read this find your why to communicate with people يعني and connect with them يعني جميل عشان it's very important you're going to while the person is editing it is going to take 10 to 15 piece of content from the video of one minute to like 10 seconds to one minute, 60 seconds videos. And that will be the content for your Instagram, for the LinkedIn portfolio, because this is really important LinkedIn for B2B and to like reach entrepreneurs and so on. And you're going to have content for TikTok and you're going to have content for fucking Twitter because you're going to take like quotes and like you're going to take quotes from the podcast and just repost it on Twitter and have someone while they're editing take the, the quotes out and then you just post like 10 times on Twitter. You could post four times a day on TikTok. You can post twice on Instagram or once in the beginning on Instagram. And that's it. Yeah. So it's really, really, really simple, guys. And I tell this for other people. For example, someone that wants to work in like wedding planning. All right? And you have to see the problem that you're solving. You know? So wedding planning. Like, how many girls here, like... <laughs> All right, perfect. So you want to be an event planner. So this is, this is for Ismiki. Rawan. So Rawan, there's a huge gap in the market right now. In this that I see, there's huge potential for people to go in and make a fucking killing. All right? Who knows anyone on YouTube or an influencer that teaches you what to do for your wedding? Anyone? Huh? Any? Yeah, exactly. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> this, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy that there's no one. Like, this is a huge opportunity. You don't understand. You can create a company that's worth millions of dollars because there's that big of a gap. It is crazy that all of you are like the target audience of being like wedding planning and you guys know no one on fucking social media that speaks about that. You can make, you could build an eight, nine figure business out of this that could be like worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, bro, for sure. A hundred percent. So if you're going to start a wedding, if you're going to start like a, a wedding plan, even from now, like you don't even have to start. You can start a podcast and you're going to talk. What would you talk about in wedding planning? Venues. Venues. The first thing. Organizing. Huh? Budget. Budget. Decorations. Decorations. Vendors. Vendors. DJs. Shoes. Uh, fucking dresses. Do you understand? Like if you just make a channel of this and you don't even have any products. All you have is like the best people, the best venues and you just get, get like a... 10% cut or a 20% cut from all the fucking weddings that people that like message you for contact, 
You can make a seven, like, you can make seven figures, like, it's crazy. You understand? And it's very simple to do it. Why? Like, this, like, especially this type of, like, podcast with, with like, a wedding planning. Because there's no one giving exposure for these people. And the wedding planners that are, like, big already are, 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 are like, underestimating the power of social media. So there's a huge potential, and there's this same exact thing in so many different niches in the market. But the number one thing when you start, you need to know exactly what is your niche. So wedding planning, who's your target audience? Um, people that want to get married. Yeah, usually like girls, I would say, like forget men in wedding planning. Like it's just like, just like <laughs> out of the picture. You know, hope that happened in the Rabbina ma'ah. You know, age, age group. Young adults. Eh? Like age, exactly, age group. No. Thirty. Like young girls that are thirteen, twelve. They don't think about. They don't like watch like stuff like that. Yeah, but are they gonna watch it? Of course, this is the like this is what society tells yeah, this is the dream. Fabelax, you wanna like start from like 13. But like it's not your ma your major focus. Your major focus is gonna be people probably from Kohiri, she teaches our Instagram course, she has two thousand followers, and she's making like over 50, 60, 70k a month EGP. And she's like young. With two thousand followers, she gets all her clients from two thousand followers. Because she shows she shows what she's doing. You know, she's she's what time is it by the way, guys? It's two? All right. A lot of you guys have classes, I know. So we could end it like in two minutes. So this is my last thing so I could end it for you guys. And it's good that it, it reaches to here. Start being on social media. Start your podcast. Talk about where you are right now. Don't think you need to be a multi-billionaire to start talking about something. You know? Start just talking about if it's funny, just you and your friends. Just tell them the weekend you every day. You know, <laughs> literally, like just start guys, start, start filming it, start documenting what you're doing, start saying what you're good at. Let's say you're good at fashion, you're good at like designing glasses. It's really important, start showing it on your personal pages. You know, people that have just their handle, like I needed someone to do voiceover, well, I had to do follow, it's my Ham voiceover. Like I went, I DM'd her, Eri Ham, Ikkalam. You know, just because she has like voiceover in her, in her like name. So it's really important to show what you guys are good at. And you guys have ego. It's like, I'm going to a creative mode. I'm Like, no. <laughs> you know? And the last thing I want to tell you guys, give people value. Give them everything you have. It's going to come back. Give them all the knowledge you have. It's going to come back. Share it with people. And start today, guys. I love you guys.